All right, guys, the drama with this film called The Cuties from Netflix is uh, the, the drama continues. So we're going to go over really quickly what's been going on, uh, some recent developments. But, but, but before I begin, I just want to say, no matter what it is you're talking about, whatever it is you're advocating for, whatever it is that you're speaking out against, you always have to remain truthful no matter what and always speak in, in, in a way that keeps you closest to the truth. If you're going to speak, uh, talk about something that you're not super certain of. Make sure that your your wording is 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 careful as, as to not confuse anybody as to what you mean. Because when you speak in you know definitive terms and you make statements that that you know suggest that you know what you're saying is 100% accurate and true no matter what, and then it turns out not to be that uh, to be that truthful, you're you're just hurting your own cause. So um, the the cuties film I, I did a video about and it received a lot of backlash now Netflix is defending cuties amid the cancel backlash tells the haters to actually watch the film and people are watching the film and a lot of reputable content creators are all saying the exact same thing this film is disgusting it's it, it, it's clearly uh, you know a, a promotion a, a naked declaration of 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 unwavering support for uh, the, the 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 sexualization of minors, which is exactly what's been going on for many years, and it seems like now people want to take it seriously. Now people want to get active, and, and and now it's it's not just like you know the the dissident right, or the uh, or, or or the the far right or the alt right, if that's what you want to call it. But but we're seeing normies, um, you know, start engaging in and, and participating in the conversation about the, this pervasive and disgusting degenerate content. That has that is infecting the minds of a lot of impressionable people, uh, from you know from you know the kids to teens to to idiot millennials who you know mid thirties and, and whatnot, um, and, and people are done. Uh, this is the, the the straw that brought the camels back, in my opinion. Um, the the backlash is unlike something that I anticipated. I expected there to be a a ba- a, 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 a pretty big uh, you know a backlash, but no, nothing like this. Nothing like this. It's a lot better than I, I would have expected, which is a good thing. But um, uh, I always have to ask people. It's like, why are you surprised? You know, what what is there? Why are people uh, as outraged as they are? You know, the solution is very simple: cancel your streaming services for these platforms. Stop giving money to pedo Hollywood. It's really that simple. Um, beyond that, there's really not much the regular Joe can do. Um, you know, there, there's been like petitions to to uh, to have this film removed, like like from Change.org. All over half a million people have signed a petition to have Netflix remove this film from their streaming service. And to that I say, why? Why not remove yourself from the equation and not have Netflix do it for you? See, that's the problem. No one wants to take responsibility. Nobody wants to do what needs to be done. What needs to be done is to close up the wallets, cancel the subscription, stop giving money to the pedophiles in Hollywood, to Disney, to Netflix, to HBO, to any of these creeps. Stop giving them your money. The more money and power they have, the, the more likely it is they're going to be producing and making these films. Plain and simple. There's there's just no need to to continue to give them money. If there's something on these platforms that you absolutely need to watch, pirate it. Steal it. Piracy is legal. I don't care what people say. Um, it's one of the reasons why it was blacklisted, because I was an advocate for piracy. Because I know it doesn't generally hurt sales, but you know, they argue otherwise. So if you really want to stick it to to these creeps, steal the content, pirate the content, you're gonna be okay. And it's actually a lot easier to do that and to open up the wallet, enter in the credit card information, and then you know uh, have it a, a reoccurring transaction every month, just so you can watch like one good movie every few months, or or every now and then like a good show comes on. But you're not really like benefiting it from me, you know. You're not really getting that much out of it. I, I promise you, you're not gonna miss it once you get rid of it. Um, but yeah, it just it's just it's it make, doesn't make sense to to go down this route. It's just a lot easier to remove yourself from the equation. But uh, you know th- this backlash is so so widespread now you even got goofballs like democrat tulsi gabber joining in on the cuties hatred and uh, she she makes some uh, very strong statements against the film which i i wouldn't suggest doing because i don't think it's grounded in reality she says that the film is complicit in uh, child sex trafficking for child prawn film cuties um no I don't, I don't think so i mean here's again this is what i meant by you got to stick to the truth or you hurt your own arguments what she is saying, in my estimation, is not substantiated by any any fact or, or evidence whatsoever. But what we do know is that Netflix is a propaganda 
machine. They manufacture and distribute propaganda. They are, uh, you know, one of the, the tentacles of the, of the DNC. That's absolutely true. Uh, Obama, you know, they, they, they do content. They, they have a, a partnership with Netflix. Uh, so the, so, so, so it, it makes more sense to make the case that the, 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 the promotion of, of child sexuality is, is implicit in the content that is being produced by Netflix. It's 100% certain. It's undeniable. Now, here's the thing. I wrote screenplays before I was blacklisted. I wrote a three to four. Um, well, Technically, three are done. One I didn't finish. But when when you're writing movies, when you, when you you know you 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 write down what you're going to be focusing on the most, and then the director is shooting everything that you wrote down, and what the camera is aimed at is what the what you know the it's what the the the, the artists want you to see. So I've seen the clips. I've seen people react to the clips of this film. And it's absolutely disgusting. I, I had a grimace on my face the whole time. I, I just I was just scolding at, at my monitor here while I was watching some of the this disgusting uh, crap that was produced by Netflix. And um, you know they were the, the camera was hyper focusing on you know the the parts of the, these young girls. You know they they just like this is what they want you to see. They want you to see them in these suggestive. Uh, the compromising positions and these awkward situations. And they're just like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're totally against the stuff that we're doing. We're doing the thing that we're, we're supposedly against. And um, I, I don't buy it, man. I, I don't buy it for one second. They're, 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 totally, they're totally lying. They're trying to save face. They're trying to do everything they can to prevent the backlash. But now, you know, the, the backlash is so severe. You even got goofballs like Democrat Tulsi Gabbard trying to cash in on, uh, you know, trying to join in. Uh, trying to join the the normal people, right? Because uh, unfortunately, De uh, Tulsi Gabbard is uh, is already despised among the modern left uh, for whatever reason. I I genuinely don't understand. Like she's actually further to the left than Bernie Sanders. Uh, her and Yang were further to the left than Bernie Sanders. But for some reason, all these idiot black pillars and and even some of my fellow contemporaries on the on the, on the right, um, they they're, they're like fawning over her for some reason. I, I genuinely don't understand. It's like, oh well, she's she's hot for a politician. You know, if you gotta insert qualifiers into the equation, then she's probably not all that. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's, it's like what they did with, uh, you know, uh, Sarah Palin. It's like, oh, well, she, she's hot for, for, for being a Republican, you know, wife or whatever. You know, it's like, oh, again, if you got to insert the qualifiers, it's probably, you know, there's probably something wrong there. I, I was never impressed by Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, she, she's a huge gun grabber. She's, you know, she's a total far leftist, open borders types. And, uh, and again, I, I, I don't know why the Black Pillars like her so much. I don't understand why uh, even like avowed racists like, um, you know, like, like uh, like Richard Spencer seems to like Tulsi Gabbard, and he also likes Yang, and and he endorsed Joe Biden. Uh, funny enough, uh, but we got one more thing here that I wanted to show you guys. Um, so yeah, so the Rolling Stones, uh, how cuties is feeling the far right's obsession with pedophilia. Yeah, there's there's a yeah there's an obsession here. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Whatever. This is, again now they're trying to misdirect. They're trying to deflect. They're trying to uh, make it seem like people's real world concerns are an obsession. It like 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 this is a problem to be concerned with this issue. There there is a disgusting prevailing current among the modern left that is in support of of, of the of 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 the, of the children expressing themselves in this way. Uh, you know, we saw it in the past with the Desmond is amazing kid. You have this young kid. And, the, you know, the, he's, he's parading around doing this, this, you know, very explicit act at a bar. You know, this, I don't even think he was a teenager at the time. I don't even think he's a teenager now. And, and people are like, oh, well, this is so brave. This is so brave. The, the bravery levels are, are through the charts, right? They're through the roof. And um, I was disgusted. You know, if I'm at a bar and I see something like that, I'm leaving. I'm running out the door. Um, you know, we, we, we see it with, the, with this, the drag queen story hour. You have these adult men dressing up like, like you know, I don't know, just dressing up like freaks. And they're, they just they have to be where the kids are. They just have to be right next to the kids. And they're reading the, the, you know, the, the stupid propaganda to these children. You know, and shame on the parents for even allowing them, uh, allowing the, 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 or for even uh, participating in this madness. So are we really surprised that now that this film is out, and people are looking into this and now they're paying attention to this stuff because everyone has Netflix. So now it's like, you know, a bigger problem all of a sudden. Um, you know, there's not an obsession with this stuff. Like this stuff has been going on for a long time. And now, you know, this is the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, so I read through most of this article. It's pretty boring. And it's just like, 
you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, uh, ne- the, the, you got like uh, Trump's son making like a pedophile joke towards uh, Joe, Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe. And then, you know, they're, they're targeting and attacking Netflix because of their deal with Obama. So this isn't really about pedophilia. It's more about hating on Obama. Well, you know, it can be both. It can be all three, to be honest. Um, you know, it's just like, well, you know, we, we have video evidence, video footage of Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden, sleepy Joe, pinching the nipples of these young girls, sniffing their hair, being inappropriate. I actually know a woman. I, I met her when I was, uh, you know, working for the government. Uh, she was uh, one of the accusers of Joe Biden. You know, and, and it's just like and she was she was like she ran for politics. I don't think she won. Uh, she ran for for some small local uh, position, and um, yeah, she she was one of the accusers of Joe Biden. You know, yeah, he's inappropriate. He did this. He did that, and um, you know, and it's just like you know, we we see how he is with with uh, you know with, with the, these young children. It's not a, you know, it's like the joke is like it's it's half true, right? It's half true. Let's just be honest. Let's be fair to Joe Biden. He's not a. I don't think he's a he's a pedo man, but. Um, Oh, excuse me, but he's certainly inappropriate and disgusting. And it's just like, okay, well, Netflix is is obviously uh, promoting this disgusting and explicit material, and and, and Obama is is directly attached to it. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to attack Obama, and you know, uh, for that for that matter, I'm attacking him right now. I think he should come forward and completely disavow the the actions of uh, Netflix, and you should completely cancel whatever it is he was planning to do with him, even if he's out a few mil, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, where are your principles? Where are your principles? And then throughout this article, they also lambast people who. Uh, espouse conspiracy theories about you know things that are going on in hollywood it's not a conspiracy theory it's a fact you know we we have the sex trafficking victims of jeffrey epstein coming forward and pointing the finger at people like bill clinton bill gates matt groining the creator of the simpsons al gore bill richardson former democratic governor of new mexico um you know you got all, all these shot callers in hollywood whining and dining with this guy you got Ellen Powell, the former Reddit CEO, you know, basically admitting on Twitter, it's like, oh yeah, well, we were partying with this guy. We all knew what he was up to, but we're like, nobody said anything because you know either they didn't care or they were just cool with it, you know, because leftists ch- uh, tend to be pretty disgusting and, and have a lot of animus towards children for whatever reason. And one last thing, it's kind of kind of not related, but related in a way. I have some lady friends. Are they? They, they have like daughters and stuff and they're all a part of like the, the beauty pageant world. And for the left has always hated beauty pageants. They always thought it was child exploitation. They always thought it was child abuse, you know, things of that nature. None of that is true. None of that can be further from the truth. Now me personally, I've never been a part of any pageant. I never seen a pageant or invited these things. I want nothing to do with it. It's not for me. And I, I don't, I am not under the impression that there's any sort of child exploitation or abuse involved. It, it's almost entirely women. The, the parents are involved and, and it's more like it's like, it's kind of like a cadet program, you know, like the cadet program, in, at least in my state, it's like you have these teenagers, they're in this cadet program. So and when they become uh, of age, they end up transitioning to become a police officer. Well, that's kind of like how beauty pageants are. You have like these young girls or they're, they're, they're learning how to walk. They're learning how to uh, talk before a camera. They're they're doing, you know, the, these these like modeling moves and they're preparing them for for acting gigs, modeling gigs. Uh, having a career in entertainment or 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 something to that effect, and you know it's just preparation. You know it's just like oh well, this is how you do your makeup. This is how you do this. This is how you behave before a camera. This is you know this is these are the angles you want to do, and uh, it, it's not it's not sexual. You know if you if people genuinely feel that way, you're 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 misled. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, and again, this was communicated to me by by a mother who whose child is involved in that stuff. So to compare the cuties. To, to something like, 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 you know, the beauty pageant world is completely nonsense. Uh, that's not to say, you know, think bad things have happened in the past. I'm sure they have, but for the most part, none of that stuff is as bad as the left says it is. The left just hates it because, you know, they, they, you know, they, they, they make the, the, these children kind of look like, like, like young, like genuinely young women. They're not women, they're girls, right? But they make them look like young women and they have the, those, those features that are sought after by, by certain modeling companies, by certain uh, film and video companies. And, um, you know, they just, they hate it. They hate the, that there's a criteria that needs to be met to succeed in that world. And you have these young, these young girls that, you know, who are being, uh, you know, uh, uh, mentored by their parents or whatever, 
uh, being, you know, aimed in that direction. They're aiming up and, and they're improving themselves. And, uh, you know, like there's like diet stuff involved and, you know, just whatever, man. It's a big it's a big industry. It's a big world. It, but I, I don't think there's any exploitation involved. And again, if there's a handful of incidences and, you know, what, I, I completely condemn it. But overall, that, that's not the same as what is going on in Hollywood, what is what is going on with the kind of things that Netflix is up to. Uh, so, again, just when you're talking about this stuff, stick to the facts. They're they are promoting they're 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 kind of no, trying to normalize the the sexualization of children. They're trying to normalize this idea that that someone who's ten or eleven can have some sort of sexuality, and it's just it's just n it's nonsense. It's not true. It's not true. And it and it's funny that all this is coming out when California passed SB one forty five, um, honorable the honorable legal uh, rock star Robert Barnes said something to the effect that they're essentially re reworking working around age of consent laws. And it's absolutely disgusting. Again, the only way we beat these people is by speaking honestly about it and ceasing to give them money. Because the more money they have, the more power they have to abuse innocent, innocent people and infect and poison the minds of millions of others. Don't let them do it. Don't let them get away with it. Peace out.